Hey guys, and welcome back to another View It For Me video. Um, pretty much where we view anything, everything, stuff that gets sent out to me, stuff that you point out, stuff that I've thought of reviewing. Yeah, so just pretty much quick rundown on things. So if you're looking, looking for something, yeah, you might be able to get some info off this. And I will say, guys, if I do get stuff sent out to me, I will say straight up that, you know, it's it's been sent out. Um, but yeah, just to give you a heads up and... Like I said, I've said it before, a bit over saying it because you're always going to get someone that just believes what they want to believe, but I'll tell you what I think of it. You know, I'm going to tell you the truth. And just remember, just because something don't suit me doesn't mean it won't suit you. It's a big difference to uh, using it 24-7 to weekends here and there or stuff like that. So, yeah, just bear that in mind as well. Anyway, this week, it's a, just a chair. <laughs> the um, Oztent chair. Um... No, it wasn't sent out to me. I, I just love good chairs. Got to be comfortable. Probably my two best chairs I've ever had is I've had a Dachi, I think it was the Eclipse. And then obviously, yeah, this one's like a director sort of chair. Comfortable as, it's like, I've got to have a comfortable chair because this is my main chair. I sit down and, you know, I eat tea out of it. I eat dinner out of it. I, I chill out of it. I edit out of it, you know. I just, I had to make sure it was comfortable, so... I went this way and it is definitely comfortable, very comfortable. We'll get all the boring stuff over and done with, the measurements and, you know, stuff like that. So set up, as you can see now, um, and I'll do it close. So at the back of it, including the headrest, it's about 900 high. From back of the headrest to the front of it, it would be close to 600 straight across the outside. So you're looking at about 600 and say 90, so 700. from. The base to the actual top of that chair is about 400. Not a bad height. And shut up. It does come with a bag. I don't have the bag with me, sorry, but it, just for those who want to know, it is easier, easy to get it in and out of this bag. It's not like a um, small product with an extra small bag for it. <laughs> Same thing, it's not going to change that. So what, what was that, 900? Pretty much we're just looking at the width, which is about... 200 wide yeah easy to set up um go through bits and pieces so you got a like a lumbar support stuff like this doesn't really bother me but i guess in saying that i do have it set at a certain thing so and maybe if it wasn't there i would notice it <laughs> but yeah that just an added option so you can pull them tight so it pulls up against your back it is decent quality you know i've i think i've had this one now for um christmas last year actually so it'd be about a year now. I do try and keep it in the shade because obviously chairs that I get, the worst thing that happens to them is the sun fades the material. Well, after a while, it'll just rip. But yeah, it hasn't really faded at all. It uh, hasn't really stretched neither. To be honest, that's another thing because when you're always sitting in it, and I'm bad for sitting right up the front, which puts a fair bit of weight up front. But yeah, it's um, done well. Mind you, I'm sweating like a pig here. We're in the top end, so if I'm dripping, that's why. <laughs> But don't worry, because after here, I'll be in there as well. <laughs> anyway, so over here, have the table. So you just lift that up. That comes up. You can lock it in. On the end here, you have a little button you push in. So then that can just swing around to wherever you want it. I don't mind this because, say, if I want to have dinner outside one night, you know, I can, yeah sit out go out on the beach and put me plate up there you do got to be careful it is you know it, it's not too bad but still got a bit of movement in it and i think they can't probably help it but it doesn't sit flat it's either on one angle slightly forward or one angle slightly back i've noticed so it can't sit flat i like it too because i can put my laptop up in there on there when i'm doing stuff and it sits at that pretty good angle so yeah it's it's a handy little thing to have and i'm pretty sure that I've never broken it, obviously, it's the same one, but I'm pretty sure you can buy them spare, yeah? These just pull out. Don't quote me on that, but I think I have seen them. Sits at a good height. You know, you can lift it up, drop it down. That's a reasonably good height. Anyway, moving over, probably one of the finer things. Lift this bad boy up. <laughs> you got an esky. Hey, check this out. This could be dangerous. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, Ute's just there, Fridge is there. But I'm sitting in the chair, so why not? <laughs> Or you can put some stuff in it, or whatever you want to do. Bit of tucker, but um, it is lined. It's not like you know, it's got a bit of padding in it, like your um soft cooler bags sort of stuff. Uh, don't expect it to hold the ice forever or whatnot. Yeah, so that just when you finish with it, it doesn't have to always be up. But yeah, other than that, guys, she's um not a bad bit of kit. I do know one thing: if you're in it for a long periods of time, like I'll definitely get a decent chair. Uh, you do look you don't spend all the time in it but you do spend a lot of time in it and there'd be nothing worse than having a sore back or just not comfortable <laughs> uh, i don't like how the ones here they fall up in the square probably not all of them but you sit right in i don't like that yeah i'd just rather be sitting flat easy to push up and get out so that must be my age kicking in <laughs> oh well yeah so that's her the um Oz tent Mawson chair. I think another name for them, what are they like? What are they called? Um, directors? I think it's like a director's chair. But yeah, good bit of kit. Anyway, hope you didn't mind this week's view it for me video. Uh, like I said, if you have any ideas of what you want me to look into, comment on the post or whatnot, yeah, just give us a heads up and I'll give you as much as a rundown as I can. Oh well, too easy guys. I need to go and just bathe, mate. Holy. I will let you in on a little something, though. I just found the wickedest little barrow spot. And that's where I was for a little bit <laughs> before I come here. So I was working up a sweat because there I was, I was so excited to come across this spot. But there'll be more of that in the um, YouTube series. So stick around for Sunday nights, Sunday mornings. All right, catches. Thank you.